Hello, fellow Scratchers. Welcome to another jam-packed Game Jam extravaganza. This month's theme was Assemble. And wow, did you lot run with it. From building bots to reuniting body parts, assembling puzzles to reversing entropy itself, the creativity was off the charts. So grab a comfy seat and soak up tons of inspiration as we celebrate the coolest, craziest, and cleverest creations you've made in the Assemble Game Jam. <laughs> First up, platformers. From clever mechanics to creative movement, these entries jumped, bounced, and stacked their way into our favourites list. A few standouts. Oldman 96's Noah's Ark, an awesome idea and fabulous art. FBGNS 75's Experimental Assemble Me. I love that rolling head. Smidge 5555's Assemble the Stones, using each infinity stone as a power-up. Clever! Projects by me, 23's Assemble for their happy, colourful world design. And Cat Weasel 1972 for Assemble Banana, brilliant use and integration of third party art. But here come the top four Disassembled Fragments of Might, a collab between Swift, The Cube Coder 13, Super H 1314, Just the Beginning, and Noffy 9. We take control of a very cute robot who once again has the useful ability to disassemble. Although it took me a while to realise how or when to do this. Yeah, so after you press the spacebar, you actually just leave behind the part that disassembles. And then when you click space again, they teleport back into place. The trick then is knowing when and where to leave your body parts, as you can't jump as high without your full body, but they can also double up as useful platforms. This can lead to some exciting platforming opportunities. King Midas's Blockhead, a puzzle platformer. After your friend is kidnapped by a large bird, you set off with your trusty block hat to rescue her. The first few levels are so well designed to teach you to use your hat to solve puzzles that I found myself storming through the game and completed it with ease. I'd love to see more levels and more fun puzzles to solve. I wonder how it could be made even more challenging. It just plays so good. Crystal Byte 27's Beneath Civilization. And this is one of the best RPG adaptions of the classic platformer that I've seen. It's transformed into a full RPG with exploration, platforming, NPCs and quests all presented really cleanly and with a fun story to boot. Fezziwig Jr's Assemble to Escape, where the main player has the ability to split into multiple pieces to solve a puzzle. When fully assembled, we are invulnerable to spikes. However, our path is often blocked, so we need to disassemble to squeeze through the gaps. The reassembling is also clever, as we choose one piece of the four, and all the others teleport directly to it, and thus the puzzles arise. Oh, and also you can jump higher if the cubes are stacked vertically. This all adds up to a very fun game to play. Okay, after seeing those amazing platformers, it's time to announce the winners. And it's actually a draw in my scoring between the rising challenger, Fezziwig Jr. with Assemble to Escape, a brilliant mechanic driven puzzler, and the returning champion, King Midas with Blockhead with tight gameplay and very polished level design. So congratulations to you both, fantastic work. Now onto the arcade games. Fast paced, action packed and stuffed full of effects, these games delivered thrills, laughs and lots of button mashing goodness. And although I can't show them all, here's a few standouts. Hot Dog Gaming's Rocket Assembly, uber simple graphics and most satisfying sound effects. Ejaz M300's wonderful exploration of crowd control. The maze level is my favourite. Her 20s clever expanding level. Watch it assemble in front of your eyes. Poogboo 0309 slimy sling battlefront, where your characters have such fun powers. But now let's meet the four shortlisted entries. Bluey Bat Games, Bob's Not So Fun Funhouse. Oh man, let's see that menu opening again. Gee whiz, this guy is on another level absolutely packed with glorious gaming effects. We are on a mission to recover our stolen hats. And at first, jumping on these little hatties does the job. And we even get fun upgrades. Oh, look at this upgrade menu, oh, man. But things quickly start to hot up and it'll take all your arcade skills to beat this little gem. Dom's 3579 Space Boss. What happens when you cross an Undertale battle with a space shooter? 
Well, you get this excellent game, of course. I love the large boss's expressions and how it all plays into each stage of this epic space fight. Starting pretty unoffensive, but quickly heating up as you assemble your upgraded ship. Have you got what it takes to stick it out till the end? TC Games TC. The Assemble begins with a fear-ridden Scratch character, worried that his creator is leaving Scratch. So they hatch a plan to replay their oldest games and reignite the Scratcher's passion for Scratch. It amazes me that this project manages to pack in five decent mini-games, along with interspersed dialogue. Not only are they all fun to play, but the whole package is of a very positive and wholesome nature. Well done for that. Nablondi's Picture Perfecto. We humans love big art. Sadly, so do aliens. We must recover the artwork. I adore the storyboarding and again, how each stage of this game is individually crafted and fun. Now, I don't want to spoil this one, but I laughed out loud at the ending. It's well worth a play. Right then, we've seen four brilliant arcade games, but it's time to pick the winners. And it's... Bluey Back Games with Bob's not so fun funhouse, yet another stunning game under this returning champion's belt. But as always, when we have a returning champion, we also award a new rising challenger. And that is... TC Games TC with the Assemble. Such a delightful and heartfelt entry. Congratulations to both of you. Next up, Puzzlers. These games twist our brains in all the right ways. First off, some special mentions to Yapio's Maze Assembled for their well-coded 3D wireframe maze. My Cool Games Cube Cat's Safe Path. That inventory of available pieces is so cool. Adam AI Samain One's connectors, hard to control, but very atmospheric, and Mastermind 1234's Word Wizard for creating a great Wordle clone. However, you want to see the top four, so here they are. Advanced Coding SFS's Race to Space. An interesting puzzle this, connect similarly labelled asteroids to remove the last of each. But you must not cross your lines, and you must leave a path for the rocket to escape at the end of each level. Not as easy as it sounds, but I happen to be naturally excellent at this game too. So bonus points for that. Only kidding. Not a school accounts, word game. Okay, so I liked this tutorial, nice and easy, but plunge someone with a word ordering issue into a game like this and well, prepare to watch me get destroyed. Ha! Of course, once you know the answer, you could breeze through these challenges and it's very nicely presented. Four Door 25 scrambled and oh no, it's that little plastic puzzle game we played as mini kids. Only the pieces don't get stuck. Well, actually sometimes they do, but I'm not sure that's intentional. Anyhow, this is just how I remember it, only why do I feel that entropy is having its wicked way with me? And I'm only making things worse. Scratch Kid 2014's Your Repair Shop. At heart, this is a memory game. In come your customers with their broken computers, the issue is diagnosed and the faulty components identified. And then it's up to you to replace those components, if you can remember which ones they were. <laughs> Luckily for me, I know my components, so I beat it first time. Ha! <laughs> I loved it. So out of those four very different puzzle games, here's my pick for the top spot. And it was a hard one to judge. But Scratch Kid 2014 wins with Your Repair Shop. Polished, well executed and a great twist on the classic memory genre. A strong showing from this new rising challenger. Congratulations. And not all our entries were games. Some of you crafted brilliant animations. For example, if I was born in the Scratch War, in Beven 15's delightful style. Cookie Boss 1234's Assemble Scratchy. <laughs> Dare you not to grin. EMT6's How to Assemble. <laughs> Absolutely bonkers. EsaiUrt.com's Kirby's Assemble. Oh, those poor workers. Which leads us to the top four. Max Master Coders Assemble. We've all been there. The never ending most boring assembly ever. Well, I'm loving this minimalist animation style. Very unique. Gamerbot 9's Puzzle Problems. Have you ever been in a situation where the last piece of a puzzle is missing? Just one more piece well, I was seriously impressed by this animation, especially the emotional voice acting. Not at all easy to carry, but by Jove, I think he's got it. Then where was the last place you saw it? I think I might have ate it when I was eating the chips. Joshua Hughes assembling puzzles. Months of work. My fully white puzzle has been finished. It's over before I finish telling you what it's about. A short, funny gag 
loving it. Cal 562's Mr. Calandra the Movie. A creepy tale of scientific experimentation gone wrong, but a fabulous example of how to keep a natural flow of dialogue across scenes. Masterfully done. So, after watching these brilliant animations, one stood out as my favourite. Gamerbot 9 with Puzzle Problems. Delivered with emotion, beautifully animated, this rising challenger really nailed it. Congratulations! And so we can finally relax as we look at the casual games. These ones keep us hooked with satisfying gameplay, charming visuals, and just the right amount of chill. Perfect for winding down or getting completely addicted. Some mentions, Adrian Sud 22's Slime Assembly, an enchanting and colourful stacking game. Aurora's Spotless, Mum's Coming Home, Quickly Tidy Up The House. Miska Wolf's Robotomy Assemble, for those who like to assemble robots. And Builder Brook's Elevator Assemble, a dangerous encounter with a broken elevator. Yes, they're all so cool, but what about our shortlisted games? Reed Greenie's Isopods, a well-explored game genre, the idle clicker, but my gosh did I get attached to my beautiful isopod colony. Feed them, keep them safe from the tide and other insects, upgrade and buy more delightful creatures. I played this for way too long and enjoyed every moment. So simple, so addicting. Dev Karev's Assemble the Building, a stacking game, flipped on its head, and you need fast reactions if you want to keep up. I love the simplistic design, bright colours and super replayability, just to see if you can beat your last score. Just what you want in a top class casual game. Werther Fours, all out of fish. Sir, it seems that we have run out of fish. A popular fish restaurant has run out of fish, so the head chef grabs a fishing rod and gets to it. And the fishing in this game doesn't disappoint. The sounds, graphics and mechanics are top notch as you wait for a catch, then time your reeling to avoid breaking the line. Yes, these fish fight back. Upgrade your rod, line, reel and bait as you fish for more and more exciting fish. I wonder what lies in the depths. Cottaccini 101 Scratch Assembly. Oh yes, these simulation projects have invaded the casual genre. And this one is wacky. It's a CPU assembly language emulator, running a program written in assembly to solve quadratic equations. Clever beans. All right, we've seen the shortlisted games. Let's get to the winners. First up, our returning champion, Waterfall with All Out of Fish. I've got such a soft spot for this one. Stylish, satisfying, and just great fun. Well done. But joining him, we have a rising challenger, Reed Greeny with Isopods. Utterly charming, utterly addicting. Congratulations to both of you. Well, what a wild ride. Huge congratulations to all our winners, finalists, and the honourable mentions. You absolutely smashed it. Every single project brought something unique to the table, and we can't wait to see what you come up with next time. Until then, stay creative, stay curious, and as always, scratch on, guys. Scratch on, guys.